You know, it's time to keep that same energy. You know, that same energy that you use to encourage, motivate, and pray for your friend, it's time for you to use that same energy for yourself. Keep that same energy that you use to, to motivate that man that you was with, to help him get over his mommy issues, to help him get over his daddy issues. It's time for you to use that same energy to heal yourself. Have you ever noticed the people who need the most healing, who need the most encouragement, who need the most love, who need the most hugs, they're always trying to be there for other people. You're always trying to be there for those in need because you can relate to them. You feel their pain. But this is what I want you to do in this in this season, sister. This is what I want you to do. You can, you can no longer run after your friends. You can no longer run after your siblings. You can no longer run after whomever you're running after, trying to get them healed, trying to, to, trying to heal them, nourish them. What I want you to do in this season, I want you to keep that same energy that you put into everyone else to heal yourself. This is time. It is time for you to heal yourself. You would have been further along if you would have taken the time to heal your wounds. You would have been further along if you would have taken the time to heal your childhood issues. You would have been further along. But no, instead, you allowed your empathy Right? You allow your empathy for others to override the empathy you have for yourself. So in this season, it is time for you to keep that same energy. That same energy you use to pray for that man for years. It's time to keep that same energy for yourself. You sit in there hoping and praying and wishing and helping him get himself together. All while you all why you broke down, busted, and disgusted. It's time for you to keep that same energy. And no, I'm not saying, especially if you're married, I am not saying you're supposed, you're not supposed to be there for your spouse. You're supposed to be there. That's why it's called the help me. Don't, don't twist my words. You're supposed to be there for your spouse. You're supposed to be there. Right? But give yourself, keep that same energy energy that you use to pour into him you keep that same energy to pour into yourself because you know you're not healed you know you're not healed but you think you're healed because you got enough in you still to heal someone else to to you know not really heal someone else because you can't heal only god does the healing to encourage to motivate right to, you know, that love and that encouragement that you're giving. That's part of healing someone else. Not saying that you do it. It's, it's God that does the healing. But by you giving your good energy, your good encouragement, your hugs, your love. You're part of that. You're not the completion, but you are part of that. So in this season... I want you to give yourself the love, give yourself the healing that you need. You need that. You need that for yourself. You don't gave everything to your children. Your, your children got most of you and you don't have anything for yourself. There is nothing wrong with giving your children the love that you didn't have. There's nothing wrong with giving your children the 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 care encouragement that you did not get there's nothing wrong with that i've done it but now i'm at a point in my life and i understand that it is my time to do what i need to do for me my children are older now right your children are older now it is time for you and that's why you're mad at your children it's not your children's fault don't be mad at them kids. It is not their fault because you didn't take the time to fill up your cup. Now it's that time, sis. It is that time to fill up your cup. You still can love your kids. Stop feeling guilty for now. You're finally getting the chance to fill up your cup. 
You are finally getting a chance to do something for yourself. And you still can love your children. But this is your season. This is the time that you keep that same energy. That's, that's going to be the title of this, this, this video here. Keep that same energy that you gave everyone. That same energy that you encourage people. That same energy that you're trying to be there to heal someone else. Keep that same energy. And it's time to put that into yourself. There's nothing wrong with finally giving yourself, filling yourself up, filling your cup up. It is that time. It is that season. You cannot be any good to your children when their storms come because their storms are going to come. You need to be in a place mentally and emotionally so you can be able to stand with them. So you can stand with your children. So you can stand with your husband when that time comes. So you can stand up for yourself when that time comes because it's coming. Those storms are coming. Those trials and tribulations are coming. We can't escape it. But if your cup is filled, if you are healed, if your cup is filled and you are healed, you can withstand that pressure. 